I'm very excited about the new garden being created in East Hartford and you know, appreciate all the support of everyone getting that put together and built. I don't know if you know this, but the Department of Transportation has been turning the area in between the highways into uh, pollinator zones. And they started this in 2017 and they had eight locations. And in 2025, they now have 154 locations covering 250 acres. Now, why, why is pollinators, gardens and pollinator areas really important? It's because our bees and our butterflies are in danger. And so we need to work on building up areas where pollinators, gardens and pollinator plants are available to be able to have bees and, and uh, butterflies pollinate our, our flowers and our plants. And why is that important? Because a large percentage, about three out, of, three out of 12 bites of your food come specifically from pollinator plants. So how can you help? The Connecticut Agricultural Experiment Station does have the fact sheets and guides to help you with your pollinator if you get, want to do your own pollinator garden. And also, you can also do no mow May. No mow May is when you don't mow your lawn for May and it allows the flowers to grow and then helps the bees and the butterflies be able to survive and populate and pollinate other plants. Thanks for listening. Take care.